to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a decluttering video. This is going to be on my blushes, my highlighters, and my bronzers. I have quite a bit of those in each category. I figured it was time to go through them because it's getting really bad. This is my container. So I'm just going to go... It's not very organized in here, so I think I'm just going to pull out what I have. It could be either a bronzer, a blush, or a highlighter, since they are all in the same container. As I said before, this is the container that they're in. I got this container from Target for like five bucks, I think. It has been really good for me because I find it's very easy to get to all the stuff. So anyway, the first thing I pull out, which are these, they're really big, so I can see how big they are are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzers. I have them in the shade Reserve Your, Com Reserve Your Cabana and Bikini Con. So these two. I tend to use these sometimes. I don't use them that much, but I don't really want to get rid of them because when I do want to use them, I'm like, oh, I have these and I can use them. And they're pretty cheap, so I don't know. I really like them. I'm going to keep them. I think they're really useful and pigmented, and I just love them. So we're gonna keep those. Let's see, the next thing in here is also, oh wait, no, it's not by Wet n Wild. Next thing in here is by NYC. It's called the Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, and it comes in this little shade right here. What shade is this? Sunny. This is the shade Sunny. I'm going to keep this as well, because I do use this a general amount. Like, I use this a nice amount, I would say, so I don't really wanna get rid of that. The next thing in here is the Model Co Bronzer. It seems like I'm pulling out a lot of bronzers. Not even on purpose. They're all in the same section, I guess. So right here is the Model Co bronzer. This bronzer I got in an Ipsy bag, I believe. And it's pretty pigmented and pretty nice. I would have to say that I'm probably going to get rid of this, though, because I never gravitate towards this. And I never find myself reaching for this bronzer. I just don't like it that much. It is very pigmented, but I just don't like how it looks on my skin. So I am going to... Get rid of this. I'm going to give it away to someone else. Maybe my sister will want it. Do you want this? Do you want this? You might be watching this video, so tell me if you want this. The next thing in here is the e.l.f. blush palette. Comes with these four colors. I got this pretty recently, so I'm not going to get rid of it. And I want to give it more love. The next thing, the, 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 the next thing in here is the e.l.f. blush and bronzing powder. I to love this stuff but I find that I don't really use it that much anymore and the blush is just really really light for me I feel like I have to apply a lot onto my face to use any of it so I'm actually gonna get rid of that the next thing in here is my Cindy luminizer this is a highlighter by the bomb cosmetics I am of course not gonna get rid of this I love this highlighter and yeah I don't know I'm not getting rid of that the next thing in here is my Becca highlighter in the shade opal this is the one that I broke I'll show it to you guys let's hope it doesn't fall everywhere but as you can see it is completely broken and I don't know but I'm not getting rid of it because just because it's broken doesn't mean it's not useful so I'm gonna keep that that was 40 bucks I'm definitely gonna keep that the next thing in here is my Milani powder blush Whoa. This is in the shade T Rose. This came, I think I have three of these. Actually, yeah, I do. I have three of these Milani blushes. I have T Rose. I have Coral Cove, which is the one I actually use the most because I like corally blushes. And I have Romantic Rose. So I have three of them, which is a lot, but I'm going to keep all of them because I love these Milani blushes. I think they're great. They're super pigmented. They last throughout the day. I absolutely love them. The next thing I have is the Australis, Australis Paparazzi Perfect High Definition Blush. This I got in a beauty swap quite a long time ago, actually. I really like it. It is super pigmented, though. Like, I feel like just one dot and, like, putting it on my face, it's a lot. So I have to be very careful with this, but I do really, really like it. So I'm going to keep that. The next thing in here is another Milani blush. This is the Baked Blush in Delicioso Pink. I really like this one as well. I like how pigmented it is. I like that it gives you a nice like glow to your face. So I'm going to keep that one. The next one is also another, Lumin <laughs> another Milani one. This is the Luminoso, which everyone, I remember when I first started YouTube, 
everyone was talking about this blush. Everybody loved this blush. Everybody was like, you have to go get this. This is Luminoso. And I do really love it, but I haven't used it that much lately. So I think I'm going to keep it just so I can give it some more love and so I don't have it go to waste because I do really like it. The next one in here is another, oh my goodness, I have another e.l.f. blush. Why do I have two of these? Contouring bronzing powder that I don't really like, so I'm getting rid of that. The next thing in here I have is this Revlon cream blush. I really didn't like this at all. It does not show up on my skin like whatsoever, and I just feel like it's just, I don't know. It's kind of like a waste of money. Like, it's just not the right tone for my skin. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it on my skin tone. It doesn't really show up. It's kind of like, just makes my skin look muddy. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I haven't really used it that much, once or twice, so I'm gonna give it away to some friends. The next one that I have is also by The Balm Cosmetics. It's called Frat Boy. I, this is the first thing I ever got from Balm Cosmetics. This is this light pink blush that kind of has kind of a little bit of shimmer to it, so I really like that. I'm gonna keep that. The next one that I have is this Coral Dream Blush by NYX. I used to use this all the time, but now I don't really because I don't know why. I just haven't been using it a lot, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And the next one I have is a Baked Blush by NYX. Baked blushes. I like baked blushes a lot. This one's called Spanish Rose. I also don't really use this one. I feel like it's a little too light for my skin tone, so I'm gonna get rid of that one too. The next thing in here is, an is another NYX blush. My goodness, this one's called P and this one I really, really like. I actually use this one quite a bit. As far as NYX blushes go, I believe this one is my favorite. I do not quite remember which one is my favorite because I haven't used these blushes in quite a long time. But I'm gonna keep this one because I know it needs some more love and I don't wanna just get rid of it. The next thing in here, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. This is ridiculous, ridiculous. The next one in here, what is this even? Fit Me Blush in the shade Medium Coral. I didn't like this one at all. I have hardly used it whatsoever, so I'm gonna get rid of that. The next one is called Pearlescent Pink by Wet n Wild. I really like this one. This one's super great if you're staying on a budget and you wanna look for something that's not too expensive. This is the blush to use. It's super pigmented. Definitely keeping that. There's a lot in here, so I'm super sorry if this video is incredibly long. The next one I have is Captivating by Tarte. This used to be one of my all-time favorites. I have not recently shown love to it, but I definitely plan to, so I'm gonna keep this one just so, yeah, so I can show some love to it because it needs it so badly. The next one, the next thing I have are these highlighters from the Pocahontas line with Walgreens. I'm gonna keep these because I haven't really had the chance to use them too much, so I wanna give them a chance. Oh, here's another one, so I have three of those. <laughs> I wanna give them a chance. Um, the next thing in here is this Fit Me Blush. Again, another Fit Me Blush, and this one's called Medium Pink. Again, don't really like the Fit Me Blushes too much. At least for my skin tone, they just don't work very well. The next thing in here is this Mini Tarte Blush in the shade Memorable. It's like a mauve -y kind of pink. Whoa, hello, sun. Sun is coming out. It's like a mauve -y kind of pink. I like this one. This one's perfect for travel, so I take that one a lot. And the next thing in here is this travel size Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. Obviously, I'm keeping this. Love that. Sorry if I'm going really fast. Not to make this video too long. <laughs> the next thing in here is Bahama Mama by The Balm Cosmetics. It is a matte bronzer. I'm kind of in love with this product. It doesn't look like I've shown much love to it, but I have. So I'm definitely keeping that. The next thing in here is this e.l.f in the shade, what shade is this? Gosh, it just totally came out. Well, wasn't expecting that. Elf blush in the shade Candid Coral. I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't like it. I don't like how it looks on my skin. It hardly shows up whatsoever, so no. Don't like it. The next thing in here is called Pinched. Oh, this was my favorite one. This used to be my favorite blush by NYX. This is called Pinched, very pigmented. I really like this one. Now I remember this was my favorite one. I'm gonna keep this just because I know I like it. The next one is Mosaic Powder in Paradise by Sample Box. I'm gonna get rid of this. The next one in here is another Model Co, which I got in a Ipsy bag or something like that. And this is in the shade Peach Bellini. I really like this one, actually, surprisingly. It's gotten more love than my other sample stuff, so I'm gonna keep it. Next thing in here is this Tarte Flush Cheek Stain. I don't like this cheek stain. It doesn't last, it is pointless. I don't even know why I use it at all. I'm definitely getting rid of that because, nah, 
I don't like that. Next thing in here is this Mirabella blush. Mirabella blush. Do, do, do. I got this in a beauty swap and I actually really like it. So I'm going to keep that and use that. The next thing in here is this What's Up highlighter by Benefit. I have used some of it, but I still have quite a bit left. I actually love this highlighter. Love it, love it, love it. I actually should pack it so I can go to Hawaii with it. But yeah, I love this highlighter. I want to get the full size of it, but I haven't made myself get that yet because the travel size isn't gone yet. I feel like this lasts a very long time, but definitely keeping that. What is this? That's not. And the last thing that's in here is another NYX blush. It is also in the shade Pinched, so I'm going to keep that. But yeah, that's it. It's empty. <laughs> that's it for my blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. The only thing missing in there is my new Becca highlighter by, Sh by Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill, and that's called Champagne Pop. I have that in my travels travel bag now. I've been taking it with me, so I love that. Also, my Mary Luminizer, which I love as well, so I'm definitely not getting rid of that one. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I feel really accomplished that I got a lot done, and I'm able to get rid of some of this stuff. So it always feels really good to declutter, in my opinion. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this video, and don't forget to just be yourselves. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!